Hello everyone! Welcome to today's tutorial for RPG Maker MZ. I will be your host for today and I will run you through the interface and the basics for today. Let's start by opening up the program. You can do this on the desktop shortcut or by using your Steam account. This is the screen you will be presented with. That's okay if you don't have an open project. Let me show you how to open a new project. To make a new project, click on the piece of paper on the top left or press Ctrl N. You can also use the File tab right here. Let's name this project something that we like. Hmm, how about Project Elemental? That sounds good. And for our title, let's call it Elemental Tales. And now for the location. You can have this be wherever you want, but make sure you know where it is and make sure you know where it is for later. Let's press OK, and then the program will do its thing. And now we wait. It shouldn't take that long. Alright, now that that's done, here is our blank slate and the base for our imagination to run wild. The interface is on the top of the screen. The paper is new, and I just showed you that earlier. The folder is to open previous projects. The disk is to save. The arrow is undo, and here we have our map making tools. This is map view, and this is event view. I'll go over the differences between each of these views in a different episode. This, these are the layers you can put your stuff on. Each tile from right here can be placed right here, and we'll go over the details later. These are the tools for making maps. We'll cover those in a bit. These are the zoom in and zoom out buttons. This magnifying glass with the green handle will change it to actual size. The gear is the database. We'll get into that in a bit. And this, and this puzzle piece icon is for plugins. Both of these will be in later episodes. These four are for assets. This is for sound. This is to look for an event. And this is to look at your resources. And this is the character creator. We'll cover the character creator in a bit. But for now, this play button will be our play test button. You can also play test by pressing Ctrl R. Let's do a play test right now and see what we have to work with. As you can see, we have our title screen, and of course, we ha have this. Hang on, let me turn this volume up. There we go. Now that we have this, let's open up a new game. As you can see, we have this, and let's full screen it for reference. Here is our character, and, and here are the controls. We can move by pressing the arrow keys. We can run by holding shift and pressing the arrow keys. To open the menu, we can click on this thing, or we can press the escape key. And here is our menu. We'll go over everything in here in a bit. We can press again. We can press the escape key again to escape it. You can press space or the enter key to interact with objects. As we have nothing here, there's nothing to interact with. And this should be all for the this should be all for the game view. And that's everything for the basics. Thank you for watching.